Hello, today I am going to give you a demonstration and a review of the Harbor Freight Chicago Electric um, 90 amp flux core welder item number 68887 um, I guess I should I already said it, it's a 90 amp flux core welder um, it's cold tip um, this is the new version uh, there was a older version of this welder that had the blue cabinet, um, but uh, this one is in fact black, the newest one they have. Um, now the older version, the uh, gun tip was hot all the time whether you had the trigger or not pressed. Um, this one, if you're not pressing the trigger, there's no power going to it. It's got two settings, a minimum and maximum. I have no idea what the minimum amperage would be. Um, I can't find any documentation stating that. Uh, the max amperage, I'm guessing, would be the 90 amp. Um, so far, it's been a very decent welder. The welds are very strong. They're dirty. Of course, it's a flux core welder. But they are strong. Um, now it says 20 amp circuit. I'm just running off of a, of a 15 amp circuit. It does just fine, no problem. Uh, I'm actually using the, since there's nothing else on the circuit, I ran the extension cord out from under my garage. I'm using the same circuit that I use for charging my electric car, uh, which I, I build those. You can see my other videos on that. Uh, wire speed. Um, I'm a pretty novice welder yet, so um, I just have been playing around with the wire speed. Control has been pretty good for that. Um, duty cycle. Um, duty cycle has been excellent. I think they very greatly underrate their duty cycle, especially now that this current version has a fairly nice fan on it. Um, I did take it up, take the side casing off, and the uh, the uh, iron core for the uh, uh, what do they call it? Um, Transformer is fairly heavy duty. Um, I'm very impressed with this unit. Um, for 89 bucks, you can't go wrong. Plus, it comes with a one-pound. I believe it was one pound. I know they sell two-pound spools, but I believe this spool was only one pound that came with it. Now, it does come with a Chinese uh, spool of wire, uh, which could be part of the problem. Now, Harbor Freight sells other wire. Um, I'd have a. Yeah, I'm not going to dig that out right now. Harbor Freight does sell other wire, and their other wire is actually made in Italy, and uh, I did some research, same factory that Lincoln Wire comes out of, Hobart, and a few of the others, at least some of their wire, um, and I do can tell you from experience at my shop, um, on our gas welder there, um, the Italian wire is excellent. I have not run any of the Italian wire through this unit yet. Um, as I say, I don't do very much welding at home, so I really haven't used this all that much yet. And this one pound or two pound spool is actually lasting me quite a while. Uh, let's see. So, grounding cable. Let me turn on my light here. Grounding cable. It's a fairly strong clamp. Uh, nothing special. Um, if once, if and when I break this clamp, I will be re replacing it with a a copper clamp and a little a little more uh, beefy, I guess I'll say. Um, I'm not sure exactly what gauge wire this is, as um, it does not say. Uh, Ten millimeters squared is about it. I'm not sure exactly how they rate it like that. Um, have to do some research. I might put a thicker cable on there if I still end up using this. Um, I'm going to have to guess it's about an 8 AWG um, what cable. Uh, not too bad. Toss it down there. Uh, welding gun. Uh, the actual whip is fairly flexible. Pretty happy with that. Uh, gun, comfortable, 
focus, damn it. That trigger works fairly nice. Haven't had any, any problems with the wire feed. Um, a lot of people say that, um, have been saying that the wire feed breaks easily. Um, I think that was pertaining more towards the, uh, the, uh, old style unit. Gotta snip the end off of that. Um, tips are easily replaceable, and it seems like Harbor Freight has them in stock. Be able to look there. Yes, that is an asbestos lining. Same thing that uh, the Chinese use on their scooters and motorcycles. Like I said, it is a cold tip, so there is no power going to the wire until you pull that trigger. And I gotta take these stupid warning tags off. Uh, excuse the uh, mess here, my. Garage is a little full at the moment. I'm rebuilding this lovely Corvette that I bought for 14 bucks. <laughs> now they say this will not fit a one of the Harbor Freight 10-pound spools of wire. I buy them anyways because they're cheap. Oh yeah, that is a one-pound spool that comes with it. Like I said, remember, like I said, uh, it is. Uh, the one that comes with it is made in China. A lot of people don't realize that, but the replacement wire you can buy at Harbor Freight is in fact made in Italy. Uh, here we go again. View some of the uh, capacities here. It is AC, not a DC welder. Okay. Uh, came with a spare tip. Now, uh, anyways, back to the uh, what I was saying is, um, they say maximum of two pound wire spool on here. I do buy ten pound wire spools for our welders. It's a lot cheaper. You can save about uh, fifteen to twenty dollars in uh, wire. Uh, and my plans, at least for this one, is I'm going to rewind as much onto that spool as I can. Uh, once uh, once that spool is empty. <laughs> Give that a try. If not, uh, for $89 welder, I think I can manage to modify it to fit a 10-pound spool on here. Maybe a little better bearing. Now, I don't know about the previous versions of this welder. I've never had one or used one. But uh, the wire feed rollers are, let's see if we can get in there, are nice and steel. Uh, wire feed is nice and smooth. Uh, there is a lot of plastic on this housing here, which isn't the best, but like I said, it's an $89 welder. I'm not going to complain. So far, like I said, I've been very impressed. Now, this welder did come with a number 11 shade welding mask. It's garbage. It works, but it's a pain in the ass. For the most part, if you're using that, you might want to rethink. You might want to rethink um, actually welding at all. I have uh, just ditch this and go spend the thirty-nine dollars with your coupon to get the, uh, the solar welding helmet. I'll be doing a review on that eventually. Um, it also comes with this nifty little little hammer uh, for removing slag. Don't forget, flux core, you got to remove the slag. You also have the wire brush, brushing away and cleaning up any rust. I'm going to be welding, so I'll put that down there. Uh, it's crappy, but, you know, it works fine. I have a regular larger hammer, and I use a big grill brush at work. And then I have my, uh, my uh, high-speed Made in USA, surprisingly, skill drill and wire wheel on there, which works uh, very good as well for removing the uh, slag from the uh, from the weld. A few uh, welding sticks down there. Just use some cheap gloves. No problem. Maybe I should review this old sucker. Old, old stick welder. <laughs> so. 
Um, I'll be back in another video. Or if I can get my editing skills better. I'll see if I can make just a, one long video, but uh, showing a final project. Right now I'm going to be welding. I already screwed together these two cans for part of one of my projects. I'm building a uh, aluminum casting furnace. But I'm going to be welding these two cans together for strength. And uh, let's see how that turns out. Please don't uh, crucify me for my project as a... Like I keep saying, I am a build beginner welder. Personally, I don't care what it looks like as long as it holds. I'm not doing pretty stuff. I'm building crazy ass projects in my garage. Alright, see you next video.